welcome to the inaugural Daviest Invitational, where global virtual titans collide for supremacy and the coveted title in a revolution of competitive gaming. Round one of the tournament is where the big boys play. The rules are as follows. Get ready for heart-stopping action and jaw-dropping moments as these warriors redefine the landscape of virtual combat. Ladies and gentlemen, brace yourselves for an electrifying showdown at the Daviest Invitational as we introduce our dynamic competitors ready to face off in an epic battle. From Calgary, Alberta, the powerhouse great J-Man Gaming emerges. A gem-smashing maestro not only in the virtual ring, but also a force of good in the real world. Recognized for over 10 years of volunteering at a not-for-profit organization, aiding newcomers in job searches. Opponents, beware. This gaming virtuoso has no time for toxicity and is ready to make a resounding statement. Now, from the bustling streets of Seoul, Korea, enters J.W. Lee a football aficionado and the owner of a wholesale company in Maryland. Don't be fooled by his love for football. J.W. Lee is a formidable virtual opponent, hitting an impressive 6.5 million talent in the WWE Champions game in just 460 days. Known for lightning fast moves and strategic prowess, he enters the ring at the Daviest Invitational with a pet peeve for slow feuds. Brace yourselves for an explosive clash as Great Jaman Gaming and J.W. Lee go head-to-head -head in a battle that will undoubtedly elevate the excitement to new heights. Great Jaman Gaming versus King J.W.L. Bro! Baby, we are here for the first round in the Davius Invitational. <laughs> We got great Jaman Gaming, shout out to Jamanji. As you can see, there's no perks, no MP. They're getting all uh, propped up. Um, your boy, King JWL, he got Solo Sekoa. He's ready to put down his Juggernaut Jemothies. And great J-Man is choke slamming with the boy, with the Blast Jemothies. And they're gonna put him down like Charlie Brown. The Dimaggio is ticking. The time is ticking. And Farouk is going to get a licking. Somebody called the NAACP. This is a violation of civil rights. They're giving out that work in this economy. Uh, Brown Strowman is all the way filled up. He's ready to go. Solar Sokoa all purpled out. This isn't faction fuel. The purple gems do cause damage. We got a uh, time six multiplier gems for Braun Strowman. A slap, a disrespectful slap to the chest to Solo from Farouk. While Solo thinks about his life, Braun Strowman continues to give that work. Uh, spinning Solo, aka Rock Bottom from Timu. Another choke slam for the fam from Braun Strowman. Solo Sokoa about to do that famous Uso splash and he hits it. Now to reduce the time on his Juggernaut Gemothy so we can see the purple work, the purple flow. Somebody call Prince because it's time for Purple Rain. The finisher formerly known as Purple Rain. Great J-Man has put out his blast gems and he's cleared the board and he's put out red gems. What kind of plate is that J-Man? Is that a Ghostbuster plate? Is that the uh, the almost plate? What kind of plate? We know it ain't a dinner plate because your boy's hungry. Feed me Jumanji. <laughs> anyway, it's a lot of wash, rinse, repeat. J-Man Gaming increases his gem damage as he breaks all the blast gems and solo Sokoa. Nothing new to report here. Three juggernaut gems, one for me, one for you, one for whoever shows up. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the first round. We're going to see who qualifies for the second. Elimination is determined by who has the most DiMaggio at the end of the round. Node 3 of Hell Mode stipulation tour. As you can see, both competitors are taking in time. You think long, you think wrong. Solo Sokoa took all that time thinking just to do whatever the hell he likes. Uh, no apologies for making them use props. I repeat, no apologies. I did not make them use props, but if you want to win, you got to do what you got to do. So far, great Jumanji Gaming is in the lead by two mil, keeping it ill. 
and Sola se qua he's trailing by two million points. He goes to choke, but Farouk says, nah dog, <laughs> get your hands off my neck. This ain't about to be systemic oppression. We is free, we is free. Bob Strowman with the Yakuza cutter. He's gonna put down his, oh, he goes to put down his countdown gems, but uh, Farouk said, you too. There shall be no choking of the black man. <laughs> we don't even choke chickens out here, pause. Uh, another choke slammathy. Farouk is rolling on the ground from Solo. Solo reds up the board. Ready, steady. Dead already. I would think that uh, this is an easy win for Great J Man. The, the times multiply six, really, is what does all the problems. Even though Solo puts out times multiply sevens, Great J Man's has more sixes. Again, it's about the quantity, not the quality. Ladies and gentlemen, again, they're thinking long. I repeat, you think long, you think wrong. J-Man is clearly ahead by three mil. He's doing whatever the bloody hell he likes. Solo Sokoa is just glad to be here. Tell my mother I was on DVD TV. Spending Solo on Farouk, great J-Man is about to use a prop to break gems. He's gonna break times, oh, only two, interesting, interesting choice. Only two gems to increase his gem DiMaggio. And he's gonna break. Wouldn't it be great if he can break? Yes, it would be great. He's thinking, he's thinking, what the bloody hell did I do? Where can I break? Where can I match? Somebody call my mama. All the while, uh, King JWL has completely obliterated the board. Great J-Man. A, a slight jab from Farouk, a disrespectful jab. A chin check, if you will. Have you had your dentist appointment recently? I just loosened the molar. And the Yakuza cutter from Braun Strowman, he's about to bring it home. He's about to end it. He's going to fill up his blue move with some properties. The prophecy said he would use properties. He's going to put down his countdown GMs, disrespectful choke slam, face first. He said, F your back, face first. Great J Man is thinking. Let me put down these red gems, maybe. Not great J-Man, uh, King JWL, my apologies, is thinking maybe I can put down these red gems. And the great J-Man is about, I'm about to end this man's whole career. Go back to retirement, Farouk. Great J-Man ahead by over 4 million now. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a bloodbath. Solo Sokoa is just going to complete this based on formality. <laughs> Solo, why did you come out? Why did you come out? You should have been bullying LA Knight. Braun Strowman blows up the board. That's the end of his turn. Let's see what damage he'll be doing. Solo Sequa running body splash. One, two, three for Braun Strowman. And his score is hidden until the end of the match. Now we wait for Solo Sequa to finish. Ladies and gentlemen, Solo Sequa, just happy to be here. Just happy to be here. He got to play today. He's no longer trailing Roman. As you can see to your left, pause, <laughs> pause, DVD of his own brand. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to see what Solo Sokoa's damage is. Watch with me. And he is defeated resoundingly by 7 million. Victory goes to great J-Man Gaming. Solo Sokoa, thank you for coming out. AKA King JWL. Thank you for participating in round one. Stay tuned for round two's match -a -thay. A winner is you! Ladies and gentlemen, gear up for an epic clash in match two at the Daviest Invitational as two extraordinary competitors step into the ring. From Clarksville, Tennessee, we have the indomitable Sapper Jedi, aka Sap Daddy Gaming. A logistics management specialist and military hero with eight combat deployments in 24 years. Beyond his military prowess, he's a gaming enthusiast who brings strategic brilliance and resilience to the ring, all while juggling hobbies like hiking, cooking, and indulging in the company of his loyal husky, Milo. Watch out for this multifaceted powerhouse and be mindful of his pet peeves, loud chewing and terrible drivers. His adversary is the formidable Flex Dadon, a trade professional hailing from parts unknown. 
A devoted family man and connoisseur of champions and sports entertainment, Flex Dadon's strength lies not only in the ring, but also in his commitment to spreading love and positivity. As an avid reader and proud father, he's set to display unwavering strength and resilience. Get ready for a clash that transcends the typical, where military precision meets the power of love and family values. Sapper Jedi and Flex Da Dawn are on the brink of a spectacular battle at the Daviest Invitational. Stay tuned for the thrilling showdown. Flex Da Dawn versus Sapper Jedi. And we are back with match two with Flex Dadon versus Yapper Hedai. As you can see, Flex Dadon out the gate, putting in work with Solo Sekla. Wasting no time. He says, Baby, I won't waste your time if you won't waste mine. Flex Dadon with, sorry, separate Yedai with the teardrop suplex from HB Kizzle, Rocker Shizon. He's putting on his black gems like he should. Mama says, Once you match black, he won't go back. Solo Seko with the spinning Sekwa. Flex, not Flex, God. Why can't I remember this dude's name? <laughs> Yaprahedai. <laughs> not to be outdone. It's funny if you know, you know. If you know, you know. But anyway, man. Uh, kind of neck and neck with the damage. Flex with almost a mil. Sapper Jedi halfway there. Uh, it seems to be a case of Turtles and the hair. I'll take my time, baby. I won't waste yours if you won't waste mine. And there's a lot of wash, rinse, repeat. Flex with the multiply gem damage. Sapper with the straight brute force of black gem damage. He is just packing the board with black gems. It's like if the million man march was a gem matching game. Blacks on blacks on blacks. Blacks on deck. This match sponsored by Black and Decker. No, it wasn't, but yes, it is. That disrespectful elbow drop to Farouk. First things first, talking about blacks on blacks. Why are we beating up the black man? But Davy D, you picked the stipulation. That's not the point. <laughs> My Caucasian counterpart should have known better. It was a trap. You're both cancelled. Anyway, Solo Sekoa multiplied gem sevens by Purple Gemathies. He is still in the lead by almost like what, 700 Thawau? Wow. At 2 million DiMaggio, Sapper at 1.3 million. And it's a lot of methodical doing what's best for business. Who's going to win? Who's going to be in the lead? I know, but you don't. <laughs> That's the beautiful thing about being the author and creator. You know how it's all going to end, but I got to pretend like, Ooh, who's going to win? I'm on the edge of my seat, biting my nails. As you can see, uh, Flex is starting to pull away from the pack. 2.6 mil, he's like a mil ahead of Sapper. Sapper's busy chilling with Milo. Milo, not only a, a loyal husky, but a nice chocolatey beverage. Should consider drinking it uh, during these cold times. Also, shout out to Goldie's nephew, Milo, but that has nothing to do with the tournament. Flex is finished. He says, I don't get paid by the hour. Baby, I'm out. His damage and his score hidden. Sapper, uh, <laughs> he likes to take his time. Sapper likes to please, baby boy, baby girl. <laughs> he likes to wine, dine, and the number that comes after 68. <laughs> baby D, kids are watching. They should be in bed. Anyway, a lot of what he's been doing, very methodical. Putting out as many black gems as possible. Causing all the damage that he wants to. Shout out to Public Enemy Fight the Power. That's what Sapper is doing. He's fighting the power. Let me put out these black gems. And he's thinking, he's thinking, he doesn't want to make the crucial mistake of accidentally causing a cascado, hashtag no tostado. He probably also wants to leave green gems to make a match at And there we go, he got his one black match. Boing! Elbow to the chest up. Uh, it would be remiss of me not to point out, even though I'm pointing it out very late. Sapper Jedi does not believe in health bars. He sent the entire clip without a health bar. I guess we have to go on the pure merit of what you see is what you get. Trust that he'll live and not die. Sapper Jedi, please do better in your next video. And Farouk with the dodge. He said there's too many blacks. You know the rule. There's only enough room for one of us. 
But David, he says no. <laughs> There's room for all of us, baby boy. You're going to catch this work. Disrespectful elbow drop to the chest. Jump start his heart. Cardiac arrest. And, uh... Ooh, five Machio. He's pinned. Farouk is like, my turn. Let me steal what can't be stolen. There's no purple to steal. Farouk is like, single-handed spine buster. Ugh. Ugh. I mean, it's coming down to, to, the, to the end. Is it, though? I mean, Sapper's putting in work. Low and slow. It's like when you're doing a nice brisket. You don't want to go too fast. Sapper likes to take it low and slow. He's almost at 4 million. He's at 3.5 mil. I tell you what, Sapper does get paid by the hour. He's like, how much can I milk this before I can go on break and before I can go home? He's like, I'm going to be like flex, but less efficient. <laughs> I'm going to take all the time. I'm going to enjoy this nice leisurely walk in the park. Anyway, nothing new to see here. Nothing new to see here. If you've been watching the past, what, 20 minutes, you know what he's been doing. Putting on blacks. Oh man, this, it, there is an art to putting on black gems so you don't cascade. I have not mastered that art all the way, but clearly, clearly Sapper has. Clearly. This guy, oh my goodness, he's gonna find more, oh. Oh boy. Oh, oh, don't get greedy. Don't get greedy. Oh my goodness, impressive. <laughs> my fool said, nah, dog. <laughs> the best laid plans. <laughs> nah, dog. <laughs> Hashtag congratulations. Sapper Jedi for the win. Farouk completely screwed him out of possibly five, seven million. Hey baby, what's going on? This is Davey D, you know the vibes. And if you're feeling what I'm dealing, then just go ahead and subscribe. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare for an exhilarating spectacle in the third battle of the Daviest Invitational as two extraordinary competitors step into the ring each with a captivating story to tell. First in the spotlight is Iron Sheik, known as Shams, hailing from the vibrant city of Dallas, Texas. By day, a master of the supply chain, Shams boasts nearly 15 years of experience as a supply chain manager and holds a master's degree. Tonight, he shifts gears, entering the ring with the singular goal of showcasing his prowess in the world of wrestling. Beyond his professional life, Shams has a taste for the finer things, indulging in cinema, plays, musicals, and arcade games. An adventurer at heart, he explores new restaurants and cruises in his trusty Honda S2000, yet his proudest achievement transcends the ring, being an exceptional father. Opponents beware, as Shams brings not only an impressive skill set, but also a list of pet peeves longer than a championship match, including know-it-alls, rudeness, entitlement, and drivers who disregard the rules of the road. Now, emerging from the vibrant city of Kansas City, the enigmatic SP-8, also known as Sexy Pants, the eighth of his name, gracefully takes center stage. While his professional pursuits remain veiled in secrecy, his unmatched dedication to uncovering the next generation of champions players shines through. A distinguished participant in the inaugural and exclusive Daviest tournament within the champions world, Sexy Pants places a premium on seamless connections, both within the digital arena and beyond. Beware of his pet peeves, the dreaded red rings and Wi-Fi symbols, clear indicators of his unwavering commitment to delivering a flawless performance. Brace yourselves as Iron Sheik and SP-8 converge heralding a collision of distinct styles and personalities that promises to keep you teetering on the edge of your seats. Stay tuned, avid fight fans, as the Daviest Invitational pledges an unforgettable spectacle that will surpass all expectations.
Iron Sheik 84 versus SP8. Bro! We got the Ironess of Sheiks versus SP8. Isn't it great? As per usual, the status quo, we got them props on deck, setting up the board. SP8 out the gate, setting up that DiMaggio, wasting no time with HB Kizzle Rocker Sean. We see um, the Ironess of Sheiks on the left, wailing out with the brand new Zombie Sami Zayn, aka Cosplay Rick from The Walking Dead. Sami Zayn ain't wasting no time, he ain't holding no punches. Straight power Jemothy. Everybody knows I'm a fan for Power Gems, but you know, I'm also a fan of Black Gems. Look at your old man. I, I keep saying it. I already mentioned it in the last match. Putting down Choose Gems is an art within itself that should not be overlooked. Anyway, Sheik is masterfully choosing which gems he destroys to get damage from the Power Gems. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the stipulation tour where ideally by game design, color gems purple gems because this is uh the tuesday match purple gems were the ideal uh way to score points but us being savvy players has found out that damage does more than color gems and as such why no one has really chosen purple people and those who have thus far have seen the bitter end of defeat <laughs> baby d don't say feet why not anyway Sheik is putting in that work. Oh, arm drag from HB Kizzle. Choosing Blizzak as usual. Sheik is at 1.2 million. Spate is at 1.6 million. Kind of neck and neck. 400 thou out differential. Sheik, you think long, you think wrong. Sheik is taking his time. Probably checking an email or two. <laughs> he's a busy businessman. Maybe he's whispering in Farouk's ear. What's the next spot? The next spot is to use this prop. HBK in here for the dilly dally, in here for the conversation and socialization. He's here for the work. He's here for the work. After putting Marty Gennetti through that glass, <laughs> he has no friends. Take me to the title. Everyone is my rival. Samaya Zane throwing out all of them sub dubs times two. All those turn into power gems. Who gave him a disrespectful uppercut? I am still your elder, my boy. Oh, I didn't notice it, but uh, SP8 has pulled out in front. Sheik started out quick and furious, but SP8 low and slow. Shouts out to Sapper Daddy. Low and slow, a, a, a broil, a brine. A broil is fast, a brine is slower. That slow cooker roast beat down. Now SP8 is almost at three mil. And Iron Sheik hasn't yet to touch 2.5 mil. They're thinking. They're methodical. Damage for every... Come on, dog. Damage for every black gem. Together we stand. A united front. SP8 has, has breached the 3 mil threshold. Sheik, Sheik has taken a very leisurely approach. This is interesting. A very leisurely approach. Sheik is like, I make money in real life. Hey, this is just fun for me. I don't need to rush. <laughs> Sheik is like, rushing his broke boy mentality. Look at me fighting all these broke boys, broke boys. SP is like, I'm sexy pants. <laughs> these pants won't buy themselves. I'm sexy pants. I need to put in that work. I need to win the Davis Invitational. My current drawers have a hole in them. Ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing today? Are you doing fine? I don't care. Triple Black is what's up. Come on, Sheik. This is very interesting watching people's play styles. Very interesting. SPA is playing like he's late for work. And Sheik is playing like I am the work. <laughs> You're late for me. SPA at 4.2 mil. Sheik at 3.5 mil. Um, a lot of stuff can happen between now and the end of the match. She can pull out in front. SP8 can trip up. He can, a cascado can undo all of his hard work, all of his methodical, maniacal planning. All it takes is one cascado to the tostado. Sheik is playing it safe with the power gemothies. 
Don't have to worry about cascading with Power Jet. Look at that, man. You disrespectful one gem match. I will say the, the pros about SP8 is that he makes his own gems, he recycles. Uh, the cons of Sheik's is that he has to rely heavily on props. That's the only thing about Sheik's build. I mean, Power Gems putting in work. Like, Sheik is like 800 Thou Wow uh, beneath SP8. These Power Gems putting in work, but they are very prop heavy. Farouk is stealing MP that there's not to be stolen. Come on. This is this, this is still anyone's race. Is it though? No. Yes, this is still anyone's race. Baby D, why was there a lull in the commentary? I wanted you to think for yourself. Now SPA is almost a million ahead. Sheik, we're gonna need to see something. We're gonna need to see something, Sheik. Pause. <laughs> this ain't no show and tell, Davy D. SP8 resoundingly putting in that work. Again, I've been noticing in these um, stipulation tours, it is definitely tortoise in the hair. Even though you may start out quickly, it is he who endures to the end that usually the wins. But it's still too early to still call it. SP8 a million ahead. Sheik, you can still do it. You have all the power gemities in the well. The well is your oyster, Sheik. You can do it. We believe in you, Iron Sheik. Please, make SP8 humble. Break his back and make him humble. In the spirit of the true Sheik. 5.5 mil to 6.5 mil will be doing. Oh, the, okay then. Okay then. The Sheik is like, well, that's it for me. That's it for me. I don't work by the hour. I am the hour. And SP8 is like, nah, dog. There's still more work to be done. Ladies and gentlemen, resoundingly your winner, SP8 with 9.5 milli illy. What a match. What a brawl. The hair is fast, but the tortoise takes his time and wins. A winner is you. Ladies and gentlemen, fight aficionados. Get ready to unleash the thunder as we dive into the heart-pounding finale of round one at the Daviest Invitational. This is it, the moment you've all been waiting for, where two phenomenal contenders step into the ring with a burst of energy that will set the arena ablaze. First in the spotlight, hailing from the vibrant nation of India, is the unstoppable force Alexander, AKA Anch. When he's not conquering books as a student, He's taking the YouTube world by storm, crafting videos that redefine gaming entertainment. A proud member of the legendary Five Second Pose faction, Anch brings an electric spirit, promising a performance that will resonate far beyond the digital battlefield. Opponents prepare for impact because this young dynamo is here to make waves. Opposing Anch in this electrifying face-off is the formidable Southside Envy, hailing from Richmond, VA. By day, he operates as a controller, but by night, he transforms into a strategic force within the ring. A connoisseur of comedy, sports, Marvel, and DC, Southside Envy's well-rounded character extends beyond the digital realm. Evident in his proud achievement as a devoted father to Natalie for over a decade, Watch out for the keen strategic mind honed in both the gaming world and parenthood. However, opponents beware, as intentional lies and prolonged customer service. Hold times are his pet peeves, and he's not tolerating any nonsense in the ring. Get ready for a showdown that will send shockwaves through the arena, as Alexander and Southside Envy bring the curtain down on round one with a spectacle that promises to leave you breathless at the Daviest Invitational. Stay tuned, fight fans, for the grand finale is about to unfold. Alex Gaming versus Southside Evan. Bro! We are capping off this contest with the finale between Alex Gaming and Southside Envy, we got the indomitable Bill Rieger, shout out to Professor, 
versus what well, I guess the quasi leader of the Judgment Day, Finn Balor. Even though there are no leaders, there's a leader. Farouk is with the Dodge. Take your hands off me, boy! I said, take your hands off me, boy! As usual, status quo is Prop City. Alice Gaiman is strictly going to depend on the power of Yellow Gems and Multiply Gems. While Southside Envy is going to strictly rely on the power of Countdown Gems into Protect Gems. I see he has a skip turn move loaded, so he's really banking on him doing all the damage and Farouk is just there to enjoy it. Just sit and watch. You're watching a pro at work. Um, Bill Riga with the disrespectful kicks to the chest though. Can we address that? The disrespectful kicks to the chest as he floods the entire board with yellow gems. Oh, but I was incorrect. Finn Balor is actually flooding the board with purple gems. There's a battle between purple and yellow. For those of you that know your color theory, purple and yellow are opposing colors. How apropos, how appropriate that the final battle features opposing colors gang gang Ansh the pride of India South side the controller of Virginia who will come out on top so far Ansh is ahead with 1.5 milli South side creeping up on a mill but no count South side out yet as we've seen in all the battles before slow and steady wins the race South side is in no rush Ansh a student is all too familiar with meeting deadlines. Southside is like, been there, done that. Watch a master at work. Blah! Ansh, oh, Ansh is smart. He destroyed three pyro gems to put down uh, multiply gems. Now he will make all those multiplies into yellow. These boys are really going for the, for the goal. They are about to cap off the final match of round one of the Davis Invitational in some splendor and authenticity. I need you to understand authenticity wasn't the word I was looking for, but my brain can only go so fast in grasping at vernacular. I like how Regal just holds your leg and just flips you. You think he's gonna hold your leg and lift you up, give you a little cuddle, but he's like, nah dog, get out of here. Southside, what are you doing? As you know, as I always say, Think long, you think wrong. Ansh is on the precipice of 3 mil. Southside slowly creeping up on 2 mil. Look at these lads. Look at these lads. Can we just um, give Farouk his flowers? Over 8 brawls, Farouk has been consistently jobbing. Consistently jobbing. Farouk is a consummate professional. He knows in order for someone to shine, Someone has to take the L. Farouk has won many a title, both tag team and world title. He's like, eh, I let these young bucks get their shine. Ansh, oh, Ansh is almost at four mil. Southside now creeping past two mil. Again, don't let these scores fool you. Many a time, many a time, the air quotes loser has somehow pulled out in front and become the winner. Pause. I don't know man, that, that disrespectful fist drop to the face, that's a Farouk special. A lot of wash, rinse, repeatedly, damage on deck, damage on damage on damage. I got damage, you got damage, we all got damage. I just want to shout out the real hero of these brawls, props. <laughs> the real hero of these brawls is props. Uh, apologies to Feud. <laughs> Apologies to every prop you needed for feud that you used in the Davius Invitational. Sucks for you, yay for me. I look forward to meeting you in feud. Anyway, Ansh almost at 4.5 mil. Southside creeping up on 3 mil. Who will take home the cake? Who will be dandy? Who will be dandy for Mandy? never expected to see so many props that break gems. I expected to see a lot of MP up props, but there have been a significant amount of props that break gems being used. Ansh almost at 5 mil. Southside now at 3 mil. 2 mil to catch up. 
two mil sounds like a lot, but I believe in Southside. You can do it. Farouk with the disrespectful dodge. Get off of me, boy. I said, get off of me, boy. Anch, not to be outdone, says there's still work to be received, Farouk. There's still work. This is the final match, and I want to bring it home for India. Southside is like, I don't need to bring it home. I'm already at home. Anch on the precipice of 5.5 milli illy. Southside slowly creeping up to 3.5 mil with a disrespectful final cut to Farouk's throat. This is Anch's final turn. Can it be done? Can he cap it off? Southside has a huge gap to accomplish, but it can be done. Reality is stranger than fiction. Everybody, if you believe in Southside, say, give me your energy, Goku, and expeditiously transfer it to Southside. And here we see it. Anch is out with the pin. We're waiting on Southside. Southside, what can you do for us? Anch score is hidden. Southside, can you bring it on home, daddy boy? Just a cool, just a cool two, 2.3 mil. You can get a two cool, a cool 2.3 mil. And ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Anch of round one of the Devious Invitational. What a magnificent battle. Anch, the pride of India. Southside, the controller from VA. It's not the battle you thought you wanted to see, but it's the battle you needed. The underdog from India wins. Anch. Southside, thank you. A winner is you. Your mama so fat. Because she's wearing Davy D merch. One, two, two, three, four. Like totally tubular. I can't wait to get this bodacious merch. Great J Man Gaming. Sapper Jedi. SP8 Alex Gaming Ladies and gentlemen, fight enthusiasts, what a phenomenal night of virtual combat we've witnessed at the Daviest Invitational. The battles were fierce, the strategies were mind-blowing, and in the end, we have our victorious contenders. Great J-Man Gaming, Sapper Jedi, SP8, and Anch. To all our viewers from around the world, Thank you for joining us in this adrenaline-fueled journey through round one. Your support and energy have made this experience truly electrifying. But hold on to your seats because the excitement is far from over. As we bid adieu to round one, we're gearing up for an even more spectacular round two with the theme, Ain't No Fun If The Homies Can't Stun. So, mark your calendars, set your reminders, and stay tuned for the next thrilling installment of the Daviest Invitational. It's going to be a clash of styles, personalities, and of course, stunning maneuvers that will keep you on the edge of your seats. Until then, thank you, fight fans, for making tonight unforgettable. This is just the beginning. The best is yet to come.